Can we just be honest? If I can for one second. I've always liked this Marie Callender frozen pot pot. It's pretty good for a frozen pot. I'm not going to lie. But your boy here, I think I can do a little bit better. Welcome back, family, to yet another exciting episode of Yes Chef. I am here to show you just how I am going to do a homemade chicken pot pot. We're going to throw all of the ingredients in there. We're going to make this one of the best pot pies you have ever had in your life. Come on in, family. Let's cook. Yes, Chef, Big Dro, cook it up, let's go. Yes, Chef, Big Dro, cook it up. All right, so let's, let's go, go yes, chef, over these ingredients for this chicken pot pot. First, to start the show, I am going to do chicken thighs. I'm not going to trim any fat off of them. All I did was wash them. Uh, boneless, skinless, brought it at the store. I mean, what else do you want? I'm gonna also season it with my seasoning. Watch out for my season line coming out soon. This right here, what I made, absolutely phenomenal. Nice and sweet at the beginning, and then at the back, it's gonna hit you with a little tight hinge of heat, but man, is this really good. So I'm gonna season that with this, and well, we got some stuff coming for you real soon. Uh, we also have some uh, Baby Bella mushrooms. I have 16 ounces of that. Um, I have one extra large egg beaten. This is what I'm gonna wash uh, the top of the pie with. Uh, then I have some flour. Um, I scooped in one third cup and then I kinda added like half of that to it. I think this should be enough. I don't really want a soupy um, pot pie. I want, I want something that's a little bit more on the thicker side, okay? So um, here I have some thyme, and I just took some thyme, some fresh thyme stems and, and you know, took the leaves off of it. Uh, that's maybe a teaspoon uh, and a half of uh, fresh thyme. Uh, and then I have probably about one third cup of fresh chopped parsley as well. Garlic, you know how I am. Don't really measure out garlic. It's how much I think I want for that particular dish. But I would say that was a, that's probably about two to three ounces. That's pretty, pretty close, about two or three ounces, okay? And then I have unsalted butter, stick, and now here I have my celery, and I have one half of a red bell pepper, one half of a green bell pepper, and that's just one stalk of celery that I had here. I put it all in one bowl uh, so I don't have to mess up any more dishes, and then I have a half of a yellow onion, and then I have half of a half of red onion. I think that red onion is gonna get a, give it a nice flavor. Uh, then here we have our frozen uh, vegetables. I have peas, carrots, and corn. There's some more corn on top uh, because I just had a little bit left, so I poured it on top. But do one cup of carrots and corn mixture, and then one cup of, I'm sorry, do one cup of carrots and, and peas mixture. So the carrots and peas, and then one cup of corn. I just added more corn because that's all I had left. So I just might as well just add that to it. So you got two cups of uh, frozen uh, vegetables here. And then I have four cups of the uh, chicken stock. Don't know if I'm gonna use it all, but I have it here just in case. I'm gonna put this up and then I'm going to uh, give you the, um, the other ingredient, which is going to be the uh, heavy whipping cream. So I'm gonna do one cup, uh, maybe a cup and a half of the heavy whipping cream. I'll actually go ahead and pour that now uh, while I have you here so we can get that out of the way. So I'll, I'll pour one and a half cups of this in there. So I, my, my goal is to not make it too creamy um, I don't really want it creamy. I, I want a thick consistency, but I want it to be 
of the uh, chicken stock, okay? So we got it, oh, sorry, one more thing. <laughs> the, uh, the dough for the, uh, the pie. So I bought the Pepperidge Farms, I, I'm sorry, I, I took it out and I crumbled it up and I thought that I had to show you guys what it was. So I got the Pepperidge Farm Puff Pastry two sheets. So two sheets and they're, they're pretty big. They're pretty big sheets. Uh, if you, um, if you uh, watch my channel, you know I, this is what I used when I did the Beef Wellington, okay? So they're pretty big, I'm gonna roll them out as well, um, get them a little bit more thinner and make them a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so let's go ahead, get this seasoning on here. And uh, it's, this chicken is at room temperature. So we're gonna go ahead and get this seasoning on here on both sides. I'm just very interested in how this is going to uh, affect the flavoring of it. Cause I'm, I've used this on some, um, on some pork and uh, grilled some chicken with it on there as well. So I um, never, never anything like this where it was, you know, in something. So let's see how this turns out. So I am going to use my truffle oil for this just to add a little bit flavor. All right, so let's go ahead and go in with this. Now, I am going to lay it on the bottom. So I don't want it to get too hot because I don't want to burn my seasoning. Yeah, and that's what I'm looking for right there, folks. Nice golden color. Don't want to burn it. All right, so once we're done with all of this, we will be back. All right, so we have those cooked off. Now, what I'm gonna do is, they're not cooked all the way through. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna place them all back into this pan. And I am going to stick this in the oven at 400 degrees. I'm gonna let that cook for about another 10, 20 minutes, okay? So we'll be back. Let's go ahead, get some good olive oil off in this pan and put a little bit more in there. Cause the first thing, first thing I wanna do is um, get these onions off in there. I'm gonna put them in there while, it's, while the pot's still cold. Uh, Cause I don't want any browning. I'm, I'm just gonna sweat these off, get them a little translucent. And also what I will do is, I'll go ahead and add a little bit of salt to these onions right now. You know, kind of help it out a little bit and give it some seasoning at, a, at the same time. I got these onions in here, uh, especially because I have red onions. I wanna get that raw onion flavor out of it. And I want to, um, I want to allow these to cook down a little bit so they're not so intrusive. Um, most people would probably add this and the peppers and the celery at the same time. I don't mind the celery or the peppers having a little bite to it. Um, that's why I don't put them in here. I don't put them in there until uh, the onions are cooked down to a place where I want them to be. So um, when these red onions cook down, they're going to be a lot sweeter. Um, they're not going to have, you know, raw red onions are really, really harsh. Um, but when they're cooked, they are absolutely delicious. So we'll cook these down. And when we're to the point where we're ready to start adding the garlic and the peppers and celery, we'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and add some garlic to it. Give that a stir. And you guys know the rule when it comes to garlic. Keep moving it around. If you don't, if you don't move it around like you should, it's going to uh, burn, and once you start smelling that garlic, that means the flavors have released, and you can go on to the next step. Starting to smell the garlic, let's go in with the peppers and the celery. I'm gonna go in with a little bit, of more, a little bit more oil on here. All right, we can go ahead and start adding 
these mushrooms. Let's get those in there. And these mushrooms are going to release some, um, some water here, some moisture uh, as it starts to cook down. So when, that, when the mushrooms have cooked down, we will come back for the next step. Let's go ahead and drop our butter off in here. So uh, just to let you know, the uh, chicken is finished and I upped out from putting it in the oven. Um, I actually put it uh, on my grill in the pan, just put it on my gas grill. Um, took about 10 minutes to cook it through. And I also added some more flour to this because from how it's looking, it looks like I'm going to need a little bit more. Um, and, you know, this is cooking, folks. I can't tell you exactly how much flour. I mean, you can start off, you know, with a fourth of a cup if you want. I guess it just depends on how thick you want it. Um, I really don't like a runny, a runny type of uh, uh, pot pie. So... And this way, I know I have enough and I can just keep adding more liquid to it if I have to. Um, but I wanted to put a good amount in here uh, just in case. Um, and as you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stick to the bottom. It's going to do all of that. That's just a part of it. So we're going to have to cook this, stirring it, continuously moving it around so it doesn't burn or scorch the bottom. Um, you don't you don't want to taste burnt flour, believe me. <laughs> and um, we're going to just cook off that flour taste uh, that's in there. And so that's why we, you know, we continue to cook it for a while so that flour taste can get out of there. And all this is going to come up once I start pouring the chicken broth in there. All right. So I think I should be there. We'll go ahead and pour this off in here. You want to kind of move it around. As soon as you start pouring it, you don't want any lumps. Though, you know, I never, I never had lumps. I don't think I don't think I ever had lumps in anything, any roux that I did. I think if you do, I think you can get it out pretty easily. Just whisk it. Now you gotta scrape the bottom with this wooden spoon because you wanna get all of that flour that cooked in here, you wanna get that out of there. the rest of that and then if I have to add more water I will um, but once this starts because once this starts to bubble uh, it's going to get even thicker all right so that bottom is nice and clean and we're just going to let this start to bubble and when we're ready we'll be right back we're going to go ahead and add the chicken to it now I used, uh, I think it was six um, thighs, but I have more that I grilled earlier uh, testing, out this, um, testing out this seasoning. I grilled some on the uh, grill earlier for my kids and my wife, so I, but I still have some. If this isn't enough, um, looks like it will be, maybe, um, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's go ahead. Get the parsley off in there. Let's go ahead and get that thyme off in there as well. And we are cooking with gas. Now, don't know if I'm gonna use all of this cream. 
Don't know if it's necessary to use all of it. I think that's pretty good consistency. Let me let me give it a little give it a little taste. That's good already. Oh, man. But you know what? I am going to add some chicken to it, though. I'm going to add some more chicken to it. I'm going to get some of those ones I put on the grill earlier. I'm going to add that to it. I'm going to add some more chicken. I mean, it has enough. And, and remember, I still have to put the carrots and the corn and the peas in there as well. Uh, I'm going to do that after I put the chicken in. So I turned it off, OK? Now, here's the part where you have to wait because when we put this on that dough, we don't want to um, melt the dough and put holes in the dough. So we want this to be cool. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put those um, those frozen vegetables in there and that's going to cool it down tremendously. But I'm going to go ahead and cut some more chicken up because I think I'd like more chicken. And uh, what do you think? More chicken? Yeah, my wife said more chicken. So more chicken it is. All right, so um, we will be back once we're done. All right, folks, so I added more chicken. I actually added two more, um, two more chicken thighs uh, to the pot. Look at this, this is nice and hearty. This, see, this is the consistency I want. You know, you, you see some of these guys, man, their stuff be so soupy and runny. Now, I don't know what this is gonna do, okay? But I know it's gonna cool it off. So let's go ahead and uh, get this off in there. And then it'll start cooling off so we can get ready uh, to get the pie itself ready. And here's, here's another reason. And here's another reason why I put this in last, okay? You don't want these little pieces of vegetables to overcook. So if you just put it in here while it's off, you know, let it cool it down a little bit. You ain't got really no heat on it. You should be fine because remember, it's going in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes as well. Uh, and that's gonna be cooking at 400 degrees. Now, of course, you know, the pastry is gonna protect it somewhat, uh, but you just, you know, you don't wanna overcook your, your vegetables ever, okay? All right, so we're gonna let this rest and I might put it I'm probably going to put it in something that's a little bit more wider so it can cool off quicker because like this, all it's not going to cool off. It's just too deep. So I'm going to put it, I'll probably wash this and then put it in here so it can kind of spread out and cool off. Okay. All right. Moment of truth is here. Let's go ahead, get this unraveled. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead, just put a little, put a little flour on the board, um, just so we can, we got to worry about it sticking and doing all that old crazy mess. All right, so let's just go ahead and roll this out. So oh, looks like I have what I need here. I think that's pretty good. All right, so we'll just cut this. I'm gonna leave this for the top. And this should fit right down into there. Oh yeah, we're gonna go ahead. Let's spray it with a little Pam first. Just in case, just in case. Just in case. Maybe I underestimated it by a little bit. 
Uh, that should be fine. That's fine, right? Right? Yep, yeah, that should be good. That should be a okay. All right. Let that settle down. Just kind of let it settle down into whatever you're doing. See, there's some air right there. Just kind of pick it up, get that air out of there. Okay. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get... And this cooled off real fast. Cooled off in about 10 minutes with that frozen... With the frozen vegetables and with the fact that I put it in a wider pan, it really... Yeah, I think that's good, right? That should be enough. Should be enough for that good old pot pie. All right. And we'll go ahead, put that right there. And then here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put this behind the bottom dough, put that behind it. This right here I can cut off. I can cut this off. Let me cut this a little bit more though, a little bit more than this one. I'll just cut a little bit off. Same with this one. And then just a little bit off of there. All right, we got the second one here. And so what I decided to do, because, you know, I'm, you guys know, I'm not a pastry chef. I don't really, me and dough and flour don't really get along so i don't really know how to make it look presentable know how to make it taste good so i'm just going to do the fork technique all the way around and we'll see how that comes out so there's both of them there and we'll go ahead and get this this egg wash on here all right for good measures, let's just go ahead, put these little slits in here so this can, so the steam can come out when it's time, when it starts to cook, that steam is going to need a place to escape. I'm telling y'all, I am not good with this stuff man i'm not good with this baking stuff look at my hands shaking all right so i got me a couple of dumplings here i had some leftover stuff so might as well make something out of it right so we'll go ahead and brush these with some with some egg wash as well get them boys bad boys golden brown all right then we're going to put this on here, put that on there. All right, so I got all of them ready to go. So the only thing left to do is put a little bit of that kosher salt on top. All right, so we're going to go ahead, put these in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes or until everything is nice and golden brown and ready to go, okay? So once we're done with that, we'll be back with the plate presentation. All right, family, there we are. Man, I like how this one looks. This one looks pretty good. This one look all right. You know, my little dumplings over here, they're looking pretty good as well. So we're gonna have to let this cool off for about 20, 25 minutes, man. There's, that's molten lava on the inside of there. So when it cools off, we'll go ahead and get ready for this taste testing. 
All right, family, time for this taste test. Man, this one came out so beautifully. I don't know what the hell happened with that one, man. But anyway, man, I don't, I don't even know which side I want to dig into first. Go ahead and get in over here real quick. Yeah. Mm. Wow. It's not that hot. You got to let this thing sit out for a while. It's still, still a little hot, though. Mm. That crust is flaking. I need to get to the good stuff, though. Mm. Mm. All right, here we go. That's a pot pie. That's a pot pie. Mm. That right there. Mm. Let me get another piece. Look at that. Look at that. Man. Mm. Wow. 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 Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Man. Can't get no better than that, man. Wow. Man. Family, that, that's a good pot pie. Oh, man. So don't forget, go over, hit the membership button. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button too. Subscribe to the channel, become a membership, get all type of good perks and everything that's going on. So I want to thank you for watching, folks. I want to thank you for tuning in. Those of you that are new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And I want to thank you as well. Don't forget, we got some more holiday seasonal menu items coming up for the holidays go over and check out the holiday uh, menu playlist on my channel i'm going to have that up at the top of the channel so as soon as you go in you're going to see that playlist pretty much everything you can think of for thanksgiving and christmas is on there okay so we're going to get out of here thank you once again for tuning in thank you for being a part of my family so until the next time we see you folks until the very next video, as always, family, peace. Yes, Chef, Big Dro, cook it up, let's go. Yes, Chef, Big Dro, cook it up, let's go. Yes, Chef, Big Dro, cook it up, let's go. Yes, Chef, Big Dro, cook it up.